Hello everyone, welcome to my channel Computer Programming and uh, today we are going to fix this types of error and just when we add a model entity uh, data model in any uh, .NET application in WPF ADO.NET data entity model the project target framework does not contain entity framework runtime assemblies please review the target framework information in the project's property page so if you want to fix this types of error message then you just go for the properties page uh, of your project and you will uh, see that where uh, the target framework is there now uh, actually uh, model entity data model is actually working uh, with the dotnet framework but it's a dotnet 7.0 so if you want to uh, add your database uh, in a in your project by using the database first approach then you can use package manager console and and if you are using dotnet framework uh, the other, earlier version then you can use a model uh, data entity model but if you are now if you are using dotnet 7.0 dotnet core application then you can use these types of things in package manager console scaffold dash db context now the connection string um, like that and after that provider name microsoft dot entity framework core dot sql server and after that output directory you have to define where your model actually converted from the uh, db2 uh, class or you can say that model so output directory is models now just when we apply this uh, things in by using the package manager console you will see that models folder is created where your data context class is created as well as your users uh, model is also created so if you want to fix this types of error you can do this uh, that is the alternative uh, way to uh, clear this types of things so scaffolding db context server like that output directory models and you will see that your your context is created now after that if you want to update the database then you can uh, use migration commands like add dash migration update database so everything is uh, everything you can do with the migration by using the package manager console or cli okay so uh, don't waste your time uh, in entity data model where your model is actually exist by using the uh, db first approach so you can do these types of things in uh, uh, using the package manager console and your problem will be resolved easily so these things you can do and uh, your problem will be resolved by using this uh, class now after that you can use this uh, data context class in your project application where you can uh, retrieve all data from the database table as well as any grid operation you can do it in the uh, with the uh, context class okay so thank you very much for watching this video and keep watching all of us